Dexter, a juvenile Kemp Ridley sea turtle, gets ready for his close-up. I'm, I am just feeling his anatomy here so I can find the point. Not just one point, but more than a dozen are needed to treat Dexter. Claire McManus is a licensed acupuncturist who got the unusual call from the New England Aquarium Treatment Center. You know, we reach a point sometimes in, in therapy for these turtles that the traditional mes- methods aren't working the way we want them to. So McManus winged it, figuring out how to place the thin needles on the sea turtles. I work alongside the vet to um, find the anatomical locations that correlate to where we might put the needles on humans uh, to, treat the, to treat the front limbs. Dexter was among hundreds of turtles that got stranded on Cape Cod and along the southern shore over the winter. Many were brought to the aquarium suffering from hypothermia and other infections like pneumonia. Dexter and Fletcher Moon, another endangered Kemp Ridley, also lost use of their front flippers, requiring the high-tech and low-tech approach. Underneath these flippers, he has five fingers, just like you and I. After multiple treatments... We are seeing improved limb use and improved appetite. They're eating on their own, which is fantastic. Makes me very happy. The ultimate reward for McManus and the Marine Rescue Team will be when Dexter, Fletcher Moon, and the rest of the turtles return to the wild. Nia Hawkins, Associated Press.